Sir, can we start? Sir, can we start? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Start the room. Ah, sorry, sir. Ah, start the room. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, okay, sir. Yeah, very good evening to you all. The PG Department of Zoology, Government Arts College, Nelu. 
cordially invite you for one day national webinar on post immune responses versus viral infections let us commence our webinar with a warm welcome address by dr t kandapan assistant professor of zoology government of college nelu have a nice webinar thank you good afternoon everybody i am glad to welcome you all for a one day national webinar on post responses versus viral infections uh, pg department of zoology government of college melo it gives me an immense pleasure to welcome our principal madam dr s manimegala devi to bless this auspicious event next i extend my warm welcome to the research person dr t selva kumar associate professor and head pg and research department of biotechnology mahendra arts and science college namakkal for his precious presence in this event i am very happy to welcome all the professors research scholars students from all over the country for their valuable participation once again i welcome you all for the help of the organizing committee i thank the entire body of directors next day i go to dr m mario kandar secretary of the webinar to introduce the research person dr p selva kumar thank you thank you uh, good evening to all it is a great honor for me to greet and uh, introduce my friend and the great researcher dr p selva kumar for this webinar to share his knowledge for the intellectual online gathering. He is working as a associate professor, head of the biotechnology department at Science College from the past 17 years. He has published 80 research papers in various reputed journals like uh, Chemosphere, International Technology, and the Biological Sciences, Bioorganic Chemistry, and the Environmental Safety, Biocatalyst, and uh, Agricultural Biotechnology. There are 43 nucleotide sequences in GenBank USA. And the Microbial Biodegradation of Xenobiotic Compounds. Under this research guidance, seven research scholars have been awarded doctoral degree and 10 research scholars have been awarded an MPhil degree. He has research collaboration resources, John Park, the National University, South Korea. He received the Best Teacher Award during the year 2018-19 from Texla American University. He has been completed nearly 50 lakhs worth of research projects from different funding agencies like DSP, YMSP, IIC, MSRP, and PSCST. Very happy to introduce such an eminent person for this webinar to share his valuable knowledge to the participants. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your nice introduction. Uh, good afternoon. At the outset, uh, I wish to convey my sincere gratitude uh, uh, to principal of the college, head of the Department of Zoology, then Dr. M. Mariyapan, organizing secretary of this webinar, then Dr. Kannapan, and the Dr. Rajan, co-organizing uh, committee members, then uh, various faculty members of uh, uh, various institutes, faculty fraternities, scientific communities, students, friends. It's my immense pleasure. I would like to share my views on host immune responses versus viral infections. With your permission, I would like to share my slides to you, sir. Okay. Are you listening? Yeah. It's the host versus uh, immune responses versus viral infection. It is a, a very important uh, topic nowadays. 
here uh, viral infections nowadays uh, covid is a important uh, impact uh, on this uh, pandemic impact on uh, uh, in the global so we have to concentrate on this viral infections then how the host respond to the viral infections that we have to going to see something about this then what are the mechanisms are carried out by the our uh, host to try to evade the viral infections then how the uh, viral potential to overcome the host responses this is my uh, uh, views on this topics first of all just we know about this definition and properties of the virus viral replications innate immune re responses then adaptive immune responses then by immune evasion by the viruses then covid as an overview here let us know about this viral and the viral structure and morphology everything it is an filterable agent it is a obligate intracellular parasites it can uh, uh, may it cannot make the energy and it can be it cannot synthesize its own fit material so it is a yeah hello it is not presenting hello sir uh sir ppt ppt is not available yeah 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 yes okay. no? okay. now it is okay sir okay sir okay sir yeah, yeah. So let us discuss about this. Uh, what are the properties, viral replications, innate and adaptive immunity? How the immune system uh, work by the viruses or viruses? How to uh, evade these immune systems? Then let us see something about this uh, COVID-19. As a uh, reference one. Here, viruses or these uh, uh, infective particles. It is an filterable agents. It is an intracellular parasite. It can uh, uh, solely associate with the uh, host uh, by the uh, parasitic mechanisms. It can be synthesized. It is a genetic material made up of RNA or DNA. Virus of the naked capsid or uh, some are uh, enveloped in morphological nature. The virus components are assembled and do not replicate by the division. This is general introductions. Here, the component basic virion. What does mean by virion? Virion is the uh, infective particle of the viruses. What are the infective particles? The viruses can be categorized into two headings. One it is a uh, capsid or a uh, enveloped virus. Another one is a non-enveloped virus. The uh, major components contains DNA, structural proteins, then enzymes and nucleic acids, then nucleic capsid, the naked capsid virus. This is uh, this uh, structural uh, configuration of this non-enveloped enveloped viruses. For example, it is a uh, example given here. Uh, uh, Diagrammatic representations are showing. It's a nuclear capsid. That is a uh, capsid with the nucleic acid material. The structure is called as. Uh, it is a nature of these uh, non-enveloped viruses. What are the non-enveloped viruses? That is adenoviruses, papaviruses. Viridae, sorry, it is the family belongs to this adenoviridae, papaviridae, paroviridae, foxviridae, picarnoviridae, rioviridae. These are non enveloped viruses. This is a capsid and a nucleic acid and a capsomyas. These are the uh, particles here. Capsid and capsomyas are these uh, infective particles, are these virions. Then other components for this uh, associated with this uh, enveloped virus is a nucleic acid with. Uh, glycoproteins and uh, uh, as a membrane then the enveloped uh, this is uh, commonly called as enveloped viruses here the enveloped virus is a glycoprotein it's a structure outer layer then uh, it imbued with the uh, structural proteins and the lipid bilayer structures then, uh, what are the families coming under this uh, enveloped viruses Herptoviridae, iridoviridae, adenoviridae, bunioviridae, coronaviridae, orthomyxoviridae, paramyxoviridae, retroviridae, rhabdoviridae, togoviridae, and hepatinoviridae. Here it is uh, our coronavirus coming under this enveloped virus families. 
then viral replications this viral replication contains the following sequences it attains it will be attained this nine sequences first one is recognition then it is followed by this attachment then uh, attachment it is made by this uh, the viruses of Epstein, uh, Epstein Barr viruses, the complementary receptors play the vital role for this attachment. In this influence of virus concern, the zeolic as residues on the cell surface proteins, then rhinoviruses, intracellular adhesion molecules, then vaccine virus, the epidermal growth factors as a receptor for the cell uh, virus at attachment then uh, it is followed by it can be entered into the cytosol of this uh, cell uh, by the penetration mechanisms then uh, it is go for uncoating then uh, transcription uh, followed by the synthesis of its own protein uh, then replication followed by this assembly of the cellular components then uh, lysis and release by butting uh, by the cell lysis process this is a common life cycle of viruses this is a mode of entry of uh, viruses into our uh, body. For example, in the case of uh, ocular infections by the HSV, herpes simplex virus, then adenoviruses. Then uh, in the case of the respiratory tract, uh, the viruses of uh, influenza, RSV, then rhinoviruses, coronaviruses, adenoviruses, para-influenza virus, then uh, measles viruses, then skin uh, entry by this cause of by uh, through this epidermal layer herpes simplex virus human papilloma virus then west nile virus then through the gastrointestinal tract the rotaviruses adenoviruses hepatitis a virus calici viruses excuse me the yeah. yeah. gastro Slide is genitourinary tract by HSV, HIV, HPV, cytomegalovirus, and the human papilloma viruses. These are viruses, these are root of injury into the into our bodies. Then uh, what is the immune response to the viral infections? Let us see our body. Uh, uh, our body say external is covered with the epidermis, then followed by dermis. Then uh, it is uh, muscles. It is uh, lined with this blood circulatory system. All the parasites, including the viruses, which are likely enter into the blood circulatory system for its uh, rapid multiplication and the growth, everything. So the viruses is a target. It is enter into the body. So uh, our uh, external uh, may, uh, system, it is give some defense uh, to enter into the viral cells. For example, this epithelial barrier, it is a first line defense mechanism given to the virus cells by these uh, early non-specific or innate immune mechanisms. First of all, our skin, skin covered with the epidermis layer. It is, uh, you know about this uh, epidermis, it, it is covered with some uh, uh, skin, skin followed by uh, some uh, layer, skin contains some organic acid and everything. It can be give some uh, defense mechanism. Sweat glands give some uh, defense mechanism. The sebaceous glands give some defense mechanism. Then followed by this uh, cellular components, in interferon. Then type 1 and a type 2 interference, natural killer cells and macrophages. These are the first line uh, gives the gives us gives the uh, first line defense mechanisms to the virus cells. First epithelial barrier. It is a physical barrier to the infections. Here, uh, killing of microorganisms by locally produced some antibodies like substances. Definitions is na named as definitions. Catholicidins. Some peptide antibodies or uh, secreted antibodies are existing. It is also bind with the receptor of viral particle and uh, neutralize the uh, viral cells. Then another uh, molecular level, then uh, we have to see the interference. Here interference, it can be categorized as type 1 and, and a type 2 interference. What is going to be interferon? It is in substances. Uh, it is otherwise called as cytokines. The cells which can be released, some products, uh, it, that is called as uh, cytokines. It is an interferon, is one of the cytokines which interfere with viral infections. The interferon alpha, 
it is produced by the plasmocytoid dendritic cells what is mean dendritic cells some kind of a cells which is look like a dendrites so it is named as dendritic cells which gives us some defense mechanisms uh, it is a plasmatoid cells it is set it do to do the secretory function so it is called as plasmatoid dendritic cells and the mononuclear phagocytes then uh, interferon beta is produced by uh, by so many virally infected cells here what is the pathway which uh, responsible for interferon 1 productions here it's a produce the high level uh, is a type of interferon 1 themselves becomes infected this is a virally infected cells the viral infected cells it uh, it can be give some signal to the nearby cells and the release uh, uh, certain kinds of the uh, substances is called as uh, cytokines or the interferons the interferons especially is, uh, alpha interferon and beta interferon some and uh, inflammatory cytokines so it can be uh, uh, gives a protective mechanisms to the nearby cells uh, so it is uh, uh, the signal molecule existing it can be uh, released by this plasmatoid identity cells so here this viral nucleic acid here it is an RAG that is retinoic acid inducible gene. It is a promote to and activate the interferon uh, 3 and uh, cofactor in a necrosis factor. And it is also induce the mRNA. It can be give the signal to the uh, plasmatoid cells and release the site, uh, interferons. So this is a mechanism uh, of induction of type 1 interferon by viruses. Here this is a viruses, it attachment on the surface by this uh, receptor mediated. Then it is entered into the cytosol and uh, form a endosome. Then it can be uh, connected with that uh, uh, RNA and uh, double standard RNA for the replication. So, so many uh, uh, releasing factors, TL or toll like receptors, it is uh, responsible for this uh, releasing of the interferons and uh, by the process of autophagy and nucleic acid uh, packages it can be synthesized uh, and released into these uh, surrounding cells for protecting the nearby cells so this is the production mechanisms the interferons bind with the receptor of uninfected cells and it can be protect uh, 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 protected of uh, uh, healthy cells by this viral attachment and it leads to antiviral state this is a mechanism normally happen in our body by this uh, uh, against to the viral infections here this is a mechanism for the production process here uh, due to the this is a cell it is a, a explanatory mechanism given. here uh, this is a mechanisms here, uh, uh, proteins uh, is an activating factor, then activation by the double stranded DNA, then phosphorylation of transition initiation factor EIF2 alpha. Then it is a uh, UIF2 alpha means eukaryotic initiation factor. Uh, then it's a phosphorylation. Then it's production of inhibition of viral protein synthesis. Then uh, this is a process. It is a process. Finally, we have to get it degradation factor for viral RNA. Then in, this is a process. We have to get it the inhibition of viral gene expression and virion assembly. This is a mechanism. We, it can be inhibited the viral entry and viral attachment and viral propagation inside the cells. Yes. Next one is a natural killer cells. The cells uh, have the capacity to kill uh, the foreign cells, otherwise the virally infected cell. This is a natural killer cells. Yeah. yeah, it is commonly called as NK cells. This is an important mechanism of this immunity against viruses early in the course of infection. It is a, a natural function of this natural killer cells. Natural killer cells, it is a bind, uh, it can be, uh, uh, it is a cells, it is attached on these infected cells and it can be uh, uh, activate and release some granules. The granules can be damage the viral infected cells and it can be nearby cells. This is a cause, this is a situation, it will be cause the tissue damage of the uh, cells. So uh, our uh, the viruses, it's not, not directly affect our cells. Due to the damage uh, by the our cells to the viral infected cells, the nearby cells can be uh, gets damage. Then macrophages. 
macro means uh, uh, it is a large in size than phage it can be it's a, it's a it's a capacity to engulf the foreign particles so it is named as a macrophages the phagocytosis process of viruses and the viral infected cells the killing of the viral infected cells and the uh, production of antiviral molecules it is a mainly takes place antigen processing and the presentation you know antigen processing is a presentation is a event uh, it can be uh, recognize the antigen uh, and uh, response with the class 1 or class 2 mac molecule if it is the recognized by the class 1 molecule it is switch over for this uh, cytotoxic t cell activation if it is a uh, respond with uh, class 2 uh, molecules it can be switch over to this uh, t helper cells and induce antibody production and uh, through the humoral imu immune responses here is the antiviral antibodies and uh, then uh, by this means it, uh, uh, antiviral antibodies are produced and the cytotoxic t lymphocyte and the t helper cells here antiviral antibodies normally we have to consider uh, we have uh, five classes of antibodies so uh, among this we, uh, we consider iga antibody it is a uh, wonderful antibody so uh, uh, bivalent antibody it contains uh, uh, two uh, antibody connected with the j chain it is a major role for this uh, defense first line defense mechanism through the uh, in this uh, respiratory tract and the secretory uh, locations like in this uh, saliva, saliva and uh, lungs and everything and even the skin also in the IgG antibodies, it is a major role. Uh, it is a response for this antibody dependent, dependent cellular cytotoxicity. Here, this uh, uh, surface of the antigen, the immunoglobulin G, it can be activated this uh, natural killer cells and the killing to the uh, virally infected cells. Here, uh, the effector mechanism by uh, adaptive responses which combat the viral replications. It's uh, blocking blocks binding to the cell, the blocks entry into the cell. So, these are two mechanisms. Here, it is a uh, factor, it's a complement. What is meant by complement? It's a heat labile uh, proteins. It is uh, located in the serum component. It is uh, initially uh, inactivate stage. Whenever entry of any foreign particles or any uh, uh, antigen antibody complexes, this can be activated. This activated uh, complement, it can be, uh, it is a cascade mechanisms, uh, uh, protein pathway and uh, cascade pathways, and then lectin pathways. Then finally, it will produce a membrane attack complex. This uh, membrane attack complex is a final structure of, uh, it can be make a hole on the surface of these uh, viral infected cells or any foreign particles or immune complexes. It will go uh, and make a, a degradation of this, uh, 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 antigenic substances or immune complexes sir yes this uh, complement is also immediate for this uh, 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 attack on this uh, uh, viral infected cells and it is associated with the complement with associated with the antibody to form a structure is called as opsonin it's a structure is also involved for this uh, uh, neutralization of these viral particles then antibody bound to infected cells that is antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity here uh, it is a response uh, another one means this is a cytotoxic t lymphocyte t uh, ct lymphocyte here it is a mechanism it is mediated by cluster designation eight activated uh, eight cells so it can be bound with the virally infected cells and it leads to killing of uh, uh, virally infected cells by releasing some granules around the cells and uh, due to this uh, release of the granules in nearby cells or nearby healthy cells and uh, gets damaged then uh, another one may is uh, it can be mediated by this uh, uh, perforant granzyme mediated killing so this is a way this is a uh, viral uh, cytotoxic t lymphocyte it is a response with the viral infected cells by the response of viral infected cells and uh, leads to apoptosis and uh, cytotoxic t lymphocyte uh, mediated lysis it causes uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte releases granules, which contains the immune uh, synapses. That is called as uh, uh, amines. It releases so many amines, vasoactive amines, and uh, uh, granules. It can be damaged the 
uh, uh, foreign cells as well as uh, virally infected cells. It is a fast fossil mediated. It is a finally it is a uh, it is a factor which has the effect or mechanism by which adaptive response by uh, killing of viral infected cells it is a cd8 cells uh, it is a killing by this uh, alpha induced by this uh, uh, interferon alpha and it leads to killing of the virally infected cells another one mechanism already we discussed the uh, a complement then antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity and it is another one mediated by this uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte, T, uh, T lymphocyte means especially it is a T helper cells. It is a cytotoxic T cells. It is a T helper cells. So alpha interferon it is leads to antibody mediated lysis, and it is a macrophage. It is really mediated by the macrophages. So that is a T helper cells. What does it mean? It is a T helper cell. It is a way for production of antibody and uh, uh, through by this uh, humoral mediated immune responses by uh, through the antibody productions the cytotoxic uh, t cells it can be activated by this t cell growth factor cds8 and uh, cd4 uh, plus t cells uh, derived cytokines uh, recruit the cd plus 8 plus t2 uh, site of infections CD4 plus T cells, which is set is in the fronts and a team necrosis pattern to recruit and activate the macrophages. Yeah, this is a mechanism of uh, function of the macrophages. It can be released, as, uh, it is induced by this uh, T, T helper cells, T helper cells with the uh, <coughs> gamma interferon it can be uh, activate this uh, what is called as macrophages and it is uh, in this one means it is uh, through this uh, antibody and it uh, finally it is neutralize the viral infected cells yeah this is an important mechanism so we can be you know then uh, what's the uh, what's the events of uh, uh, viral response viral uh, growth and uh, immune response to the viral cells here uh, this days versus magnitude of uh, response to infections is given here in this is zero it means uh, at the time of the infections it is leads to gradually increase the type 1 interference then uh, gradually increase the natural killer cells the vi uh, viral growth also uh, viral title also increase it, it is reached to a plateau stage at the date of fifth so we will get the uh, uh, very good symptoms like uh, 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 continuous fever and it leads to uh, some other second secondary effects then uh, followed with this adaptive immunity the, in this case uh, here it is a uh, uh, first line defense mechanisms followed by second line like uh, production of antibodies and uh, cytotoxicity lymphocyte activated in this adaptive immunity mechanism after the fifth day then uh, it will be elicit in high response cytotoxic lymph lymphocytes is a uh, it can be gradually declined within uh, 12th day then uh, the antibody can be exist for long days sometimes some memory cells also may be play the vital role for this uh, preventing of uh, re-entry of the uh, infectious particles. Yeah, this is a mechanism uh, we have to know uh, what are the viruses, how to evade the uh, host defense mechanisms. Here, uh, in the case of these antigenic variations, some kind of viruses is, which produces some antigenic variations especially this uh, influenza virus rhino virus and hiv viruses then uh, for, yeah for example this in this case of the influenza viruses this uh, produce some neuraminidase hemagglutinate agglutinate components which can be uh, 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 some uh, give some uh, defense mechanism to the host cell and uh, it can be escaped from this host defense mechanisms and drift. This is an important phenomena for uh, uh, escaping mechanism from the host defenses. What is mean by antigen shift? It is uh, due to the uh, two or more different strains of 
sorry uh, what is antigen it is a kind of uh, mutations it is a uh, kind of mutations takes place in this genetic level so it can be uh, uh, produce some variants variants in this antigen structure for example here you can see this a pink color uh, nucleic acid due to the antigenic trip or the certain mutations this uh, you can see the antigenic uh, sorry variations in this nucleic acid so this protein expression the changes are uh, protein expression so our host cells is unable to recognize this uh, viruses second one is antigenic shift it is a kind of uh, variations of uh, viruses due to the uh, uh, two or more different strains of viruses combined to form new subtype of the viruses. Here you can see the uh, human influenza viruses and swine influenza. Uh, which are, uh, you can see here is a uh, pink and it's a uh, uh, sky blue color uh, antigenic structure, uh, uh, nuclear structure is given. Due to the antigen shift, we can see the new uh, genomic variations due to the new genomic variation we can be uh, get a new type of antigenic variations these antigenic variations give the uh, some uh, escape mechanisms from these uh, host defense systems yep here uh, it is a human influenza viruses are here then another one is a avian influenza viruses it's a genomic structure and uh, uh, influenza virus it is a avian influenza viruses it's a uh, gene segment it, it is a contains a neuroaminidase and uh, hemagglutinin components here is also neuroaminidase and hemagglutinin component by this interaction and uh, the combination of these uh, two viruses and uh, uh, pr produce a new subtype of strain of human influenza viruses. You can see the uh, surface uh, changes on this envelope. Here, uh, it is a neuroaminidase and a hemagglutinate source the variation uh, variations. Here, uh, avian influenza. Uh, character as well as uh, it contains the ca character as well as human influenza viruses. This kind of variations give the uh, mimic uh, escape mechanism for this uh, virus particles. Then another inhibition of antigen processing. Uh, that is, uh, it is uh, mainly takes place in this. Here it is uh, mainly caused the respiratory and gastrointestinal tract infections. It is estimated to the 5 to 10 percentage of adult and as for upper respiratory tract infection, especially in this common cold to uh, pneumonia and the SARS and ARTS related infections. Then gastrointestinal uh, symptoms include in diarrhea. So many mutations are occurring in this coronavirus can be significant for this uh, nowadays uh, human epidemic. And this it is a uh, outbreak of pneumonia without a clear cause in the city of Wuhan in China. A novel strain of coronavirus was uh, detected in uh, December 2019 and epidemiologically linked to a seafood market in Wuhan, Hubei province of China. Then it is a clinically very similar to this viral pneumonia. It is a initial symptoms associated with this coronavirus fever, cough, fatigue, and similar, uh, which are associated with the SARS. The other, the, it is the World Health Organization's official named as Corona Disease in the 2020 COVID-19, which is a public health emergency situation in India and uh, all over the globe. Then the International Committee of Taxonomy of Viruses named the virus severe acute uh, respiratory syndrome virus covirus 2 then uh, so far the disease has rapidly uh, spread from Uganda to china the other areas and more than 16 66 countries and all over the world it might originate uh, from the bat but clear cut evidence so far uh, find but uh, initially it was identified from the bat so what is the mode of transmission? Everybody has to know that here uh, the virus is highly infectious and the uh, infective particles are variants. It can be transmitted through the droplet and the droplet nuclei. Uh, and it can be uh, persist uh, uh, in this air it can, in some time. Some patients are life threatening such a disease has posed a great threat in the global health concern. Then, uh, so it is a uh, uh, considered as a pandemic situation and it declared, declared by this World Health Organizations. 
of infection of uh, covid it is a, a similar uh, like other viruses it is a spike containing viruses so it can be attached on the surface of these uh, cells and enter into the cell and replicate uh, with uh, its own um, uh, nucleic acid and uh, assembling of the protein then synthesis of one uh, particle then uh, it is followed by release into this uh, 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 outside by after a, uh, a few days then virus replication uh, in this RVS cells, it is a uh, retinovir and a lobe. This is the inhibitory agents I, I will uh, discuss. Here, uh, it, it, it is takes place by the direct activation. It's one of the takes, uh, defense mechanism takes place by these viruses. After entry of these viruses, it can be activate this uh, direct activation of this lectin pathway. First, first entry, uh, lectin pathway it is associated with this complement system, isn't it? Yeah. Then uh, it, after uh, followed by it will be takes uh, it is activated by these immune complexes and the classical pathway. First is the lectin pathway by these viral antigen uh, virion particles and uh, immune complexes is formed. It can be activated by this uh, immune complex mediated complement system. Then uh, toll like receptor it can be uh, activate this alternative pathway. This is a uh, whole complement systems. So this uh, finally it is a membrane attack complex. It can be formed. And and it can be released the uh, damage the virally attacked cells uh, and the release uh, in this meantime release the cytokine uh, interleukin 1 6 8 21 team on across his factor cytosine cell activation factor, everything by this uh, neutrophils macrophage so uh, these are all activated because in this meantime you can see the days 0 uh, 1 to 2 then 3 to 5, 5 to 7. 5 to 7, it can be released the, the, the cytokines and the uh, cytotoxic T C cells, it can be activated in very high. So, the cinetophils and macrophages, master cell, basophils, and uh, natural killer cells, everything can be activated. It can be damage the virally infected cells, the, and it can be spray its uh, granules over the viral infected cells. The uh, viral infected cells, as well as our host cells, can be damaged in these lung cells so it is it is a cause some uh, some uh, pathetic situation in this uh, stage concerns so it is it caused uh, some hyper um, uh, immune situations yeah so this is a, a major uh, impact of uh, covid to the damage of our host tissues however uh, uh, for example in this case of this uh, coronavirus concern the viruses can be uh, enter into the cell and it multiply and it release into the cell it is not, it is a common pathway of uh, viruses but our host is a response hyper acute responses are takes place against the virus so it releases the granules these granules it can be damage the cells it is a uh, uh, it causes some crucial situation for our uh, body here i have to uh, express in this form of sentence here, this viral particle enter the body through the nose uh, or eyes or mouth and enter in the lower respiratory tract, the spike proteins, and it can be bind and lock into the epithelial cells and uh, reach the respiratory tract and the air sacs of like a source COVID-2. It is undetected one and uh, uh, unlocking the acetylcholine estrase uh, proteins. It is a hijacking mechanism of the cells. So in these mechanisms, it can be replicate a uh, uh, lot and to produce uh, so many viral particles. This multiply and, in, uh, and infect adjoining cells with acetylcholine stress proteins on this epithelial cells of the viruses. And uh, the signature of this antigen, it, which can be expressed by the viral infected cells. And it can be responded by these other uh, uh, T cells, other T helper cells, and it can be induced to produce the antibodies. These signals uh, they uh, generate and uh, trigger the uh, uh, more uh, anti antibodies and uh, cytotoxic T cells. Other uh, another class of chemicals like cytokines and chemokines, which uh, destroy the viral proteins. However, these cytokines and chemokines trigger the inflammation in the cells, in the nose and as upper region of the respiratory system. The inflammation produces the uh, mucus and the running nose. This is the first situation, uh, first uh, uh, symptoms with that uh, release of mucus and running nose to trap the viral particles and to prevent their uh, incus. 
it is a situation we have to uh, in next stage we have to need the uh, uh, assistance of the devices for uh, like uh, uh, breathing devices this uh, uh, this also triggers the sneeze to expel them when the sinuses uh, are inflamed we get a headache and a general st stuffness that we associate with a cold hypothalamus is also inflamed this is a result it is followed by the fever then uh, the viruses which can be um, uh, seen enter into the deeper the inflammation triggers also increase and the uh, lungs uh, fluid build with the uh, fluid the fluids also contains the residue of the host specialized cells including t cells that the carpet of the bomb and damage many of the body cells yeah this is the major issues uh, by this uh, t, t c cells then uh, <clears throat> through this way our own cells as well as viral particles can be get damaged it is an expelling this fluid that a dry cough situations characteristics of the coronavirus infection begins as more air sacs are infected the lungs find it harder uh, to perform their core job of uh, extracting antigen from the air and eventually this aggressiveness and, and we feel uh, very difficult uh, even uh, breathing it is a next stage is a chronic it is a massive level of uh, cytokines the cytokines can cause the extensive damage of the lung cells and the conditions called the acute respiratory distress syndrome so this unsustainable uh, cytokine storm can cause oxygen damage of lungs and uh, spread to the kidney and even heart if the infection is acute it can lead also lead to a depletion of the frontline white blood cell corpuscles task with the fighting the infection and making the body which vulnerable to other secondary infections which may lead to death this is a, a critical it's a chronic and crucial situation which arise at the after 12 uh, to 15 days eight after eighth day, eight day of onset of the infections nowadays what are the diagnosis uh, uh, provisions is available here for the rapid uh, detection by this uh, 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 antibody testing and the real time pcr which also uh, evidence for the antigenic based on this antigenic uh, uh, party uh, antigen substances then uh, pathogen de detection test then other uh, antigen diagnosis procedures there is a highly uh, evidence techniques than this antibody testing because of the antibody testing it can be give sometimes the false positive report those who are infected and uh, sometimes uh, nowadays you can see the herd immunity is a important uh, play for this uh, recover of this disease uh, without any uh, vaccine and without any therapies herd immunity is some kind of uh, because it is some flu uh, SARS and MERS it is associated so this is uh, antigenic and uh, determinant it can produce some uh, polyclonal antibodies which which can be uh, support for this uh, recover of this disease sometimes so um, um, the, uh, this reason because most of them are act as uh, asymptomatic carriers they have uh, some infective particles but uh, it is uh, does not give any uh, symptoms <laughs> so virus uh, viral load uh, here based on this uh, research reports the viral uh, load it can be uh, 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 <coughs> persist at the time of uh, the 10th day then uh, some patient it can be elevated in this 11th days then uh, 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 it can be case where positive shows in this until the date of 24th and ninth days and the 14 days it's a various uh, reports it is available for uh, viral uh, load detections it is not a, a direct detection of these viral particles it is uh, based on this cell sorter system viral infected uh, cells detections this is a virally affected cells diagnosis procedure
what are the mutations so many mutations is are available for uh, uh, are noticed uh, in uh, globally so many articles are suggested this is a recent report uh, is obtained uh, uh, from world health organizations so there's a uh, covid 19 spike mutations so so many mutations are uh, exist in worldwide this is a uh, greatest task for a developing vaccine against this uh, viruses so nowadays uh, uh, it's a crucial factor for the and challenging for this uh, scientific community this uh, antigen shift and trip mechanisms by this viruses here what are the drugs of, drug of choice are uh, recommended by this uh, various or uh, committees and world health organizations they were recommended and uh, subsequently provide this uh, hydroxy uh, chloroquine on and uh, chloroquines glucocorticoids uh, lufenamide <coughs> thalidomide these are the drugs it can be mechanisms it is it is not a direct uh, drug it is affect uh, means uh, uh, control this viral replication and other things it, uh, this is a it's a conventional drugs for it because the drug for some other disease for example uh, it's a uh, uh, cs dm or this it is means for conventional synthetic uh, diseases modifying and the rheumatoid drugs and it can be sometimes it is uh, uh, act as immunomodulatory mechanisms for example uh, viral infections are takes place viruses this can be uh, multiply and it can be released uh, out of uh, into the cell and it can be uh, reinfection or again uh, go to the next, uh, infect the healthy cells it is a life cycle of the virus but our immune system recognize the virus and it can be else the immune response is very high and uh, it can be uh, damage viral infected cells as well as uh, uh, healthy cells or uh, host cells this is a, a crucial situation so uh, this kind of drugs it can be uh, elicit some uh, kind of uh, uh, cytokines and interleukin response uh, by the action of this uh, uh, by the action of the hyper immune uh, responses and then uh, these are the drug of choice is uh, given uh, by this uh, uh, by the government of india also some uh, stem cell therapies also uh, Uh, on practice then plasma thera therapy is it is one of the advisable one it is also takes place in uh, some cases uh, i am also suggested in beginning itself in uh, even uh, twitter go i suggest to the jigmer uh, for this uh, uh, convalescent uh, plasma techniques so it was even uh, kerala and the uh, government of uh, Uh, state government of delhi also advised to give some convalescent therapy and they are also got some uh, benefit through this uh, convalescent plasma then action of this uh, dm here this so uh, here it is in covid here if it is it is a cell the viruses is can be enter into the cell it it is a, uh, a usual procedure it can be uh, multiply and it uh, by the help uh, and uh, macrophages can be recognized and uh, uh, activate the lymphocyte uh, monocyte and t cell t helper cells everything can be produced this is a stick with the receptor this is a mechanism of this Uh, chloroquine it can be inhibited by, uh, by this uh, activation of the cytokine then uh, this uh, uh, <coughs> basitinib it is an uh, one type of drug it can be control uh, <coughs> yeah, interleukin it, it can be over expression here here uh, here on receptor it can be inhibited the interleukin 6 and tumor necrosis factor and interleukin 1 beta so this is a uh, drugs it is also uh, act as a immunomodulatory mechanisms and uh, prevent the cell, uh, our uh, host cell damage so in this way we can be recover uh, from the corona uh, by the from the chronic situations then there are no vaccines and uh, no specific drugs are available for uh, uh, corona nowadays still now the ministry of uh, aish as which are recommended some homeopathy for the prevention of uh, infectious uh, symptomatic management and using some unani medicines all this uh, uh, homeopathy unani then uh, ayurveda siddha then even uh, uh, <coughs> 
Kapasura Kudinir, then uh, Tiri Hadagam. These are the product of our uh, traditional medicines, which all uh, which are working based on this uh, immunomodulatory actions. It can be control interleukins and cytokines, tumor necrosis factor. It can uh, some uh, some of the some are really uh, reduced that. Uh, uh, Vasoactive amines. So this is a, uh, a, a very good response for this uh, 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 suppressing this immunomodel or hyper uh, immune responses. So in this way, we can be prevent our host cell damage and uh, we can recover the disease from this uh, uh, chronic situations. Then the conversion plasma therapy could be an effective way of uh, alleviate the cause of disease uh, for se severely infected patients. So sometimes it is caused the uh, kidney might be the target one. Then there are some uh, causes. The yearly continuous blood purification treatment reduce the renal work workload and help to promote the recovery of the renal infections. So this uh, dialysis, uh, uh, one of the procedure we can re uh, recover from this uh, patient with the kidney infections. Uh, then vitamin C, it is also advisable for uh, uh, promoting this uh, recover, uh, promoting uh, immune responses and uh, easy to recover from these uh, viral infections. It is a susceptibility for the lower respiratory tract infection under certain conditions. Then, uh, so that uh, government and uh, I also recommended for this AMLA. You know that uh, Nelikai that contains a uh, rich of vitamin C. Then vitamin D and vitamin E may enhance the resistance to SARS and uh, uh, COVID-2. In this uh, crucial uh, situation and this uh, pandemic uh, COVID-19, we are also work on this uh, uh, surface uh, target proteins COVID-19 and published uh, uh, reputed journal uh, with our uh, research group, and uh, we find out this uh, uh, find out the major compound of the ginger. It's a major active compound of uh, ginger. <coughs> Here uh, we find out the compound and uh, the 3D structure is interacted with uh, the database available in this uh, uh, <coughs> protein databases. Then the absorption efficiency and uh, bioavailability and distribution has been studied with the homoluma modeling. It is uh, it produces a, a better distribution in this plasma protein bindings and uh, 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 less in this MDC case, uh, cell permeability and this uh, skin permeability is also very less. Then human intestinal absorption of a gingeral is very high, 86.75 percent. So it is a very good uh, patient. So we are also suggested in uh, even uh, uh, people uh, uh, in this uh, corona period, a lot of people uh, take, uh, government also suggested. So we evidence that uh, here this, uh, we find out uh, uh, more than 12 receptors, uh, surface receptor, protein targets of this 19 uh, protein receptors. Uh, here, this uh, the 5 or 7 white, this is a sur surface uh, capsid protein. It's uh, showing uh, very good uh, impact with that uh, uh, ginger oil by this uh, DOCI report. It is a very significant report obtained. Uh, uh, with this uh, surface receptors so uh, it is also active uh, most of the proteins are uh, surface proteins so it is a valuable one uh, valuable two valuable informations we are uh, publishing during this uh, covid uh, period then you know, here it is a uh, another uh, uh, recommendations given by these various uh, 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 system and the government of india ministry of ice then uh, boosting the immunity mechanisms and uh, immunomodulatory mechanisms by ayurvedic uh, drugs measurement of the enhanced immunity by using some uh, yoga and the prana yoga pranayama and uh, some using the simple ayurvedic procedures nisi ni oil then oil pulling therapies then other uh, action uh, during the dry cough and sore, crop, uh, sore throat mechanisms we got to use the dry pudina and mint leaf lavangam etc this is a uh, traditionally available we are routinely used in uh, even cooking this is also support to us to prevent from this uh, uh, corona infections in some extent 
this is a mechanism we can be boosting immunity in the concern it can be act as some modulatory mechanism of this uh, cytokines and interleukins which are uh, preventing and uh, hyper immune mechanisms of uh, cell damage by the cell damage uh, what are the practice we know that uh, practice uh, what are the practice uh, we do what are the practice we don't do so uh, social distancing and other things uh, we are uh, already so many communities are recommended so it is also uh, advisable and we are advised uh, so trend today uh, so the data available on trend uh, today database uh, from this uh, uh, report here, first COVID is also recognized by this uh, Bharat Biotech in association with the All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Patna. Vaccine uh, has been derived from the strain of novel coronavirus. It is a uh, purely uh, viral based uh, uh, vaccine by the National Institute of Virology in Pune. ICMR is also selected 12 sites to conduct the clinical trials of co vaccine. Then uh, All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Patna and Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences in uh, Rotec have begun uh, the clinical trials of uh, the COVID-19 vaccine for the candidates. The vaccine uh, has been developed by the Hyderabad-based pharmaceutical company Bharat Biotech in collaboration with the National Institute of Virology and the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR. The Drug Controller uh, General uh, General of India, DGGI, earlier approved the biotech company to initiate the phase one and phase two human clinical trials. Uh, Covaxin, uh, what is the mechanism of the Covaxin? Has been derived from the strain of the novel coronavirus and isolated by the National Institute of Virology in Pune. The Bark Biotech developed the inactivated vaccine. And it's a uh, high containment facilities in the genome valley in Hyderabad. Uh, once the vaccine is injected into the human cell to infect or replicate, so it is a killed vaccine, killed viral vaccine. It just as a serves to the immune system uh, as a dead virus and uh, mounts the antibody response towards the virus. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's a time for uh, queries. Uh, please be uh, ask any queries, uh, uh, frankly. Uh, sir, uh, our participants have uh, posted some questions in the chat box, sir. Yeah, very good, sir. Mm. Uh, how many days does COVID-19 virus can survive? outside without post that means human <laughs> yeah so many literatures are also available even world health organization also uh, uh, given this uh, uh, reports based on this locality and uh, uh, specification of this weather it is also a crucial factor for this is uh, sustainability this uh, aerosol it, uh, it means a droplet in this uh, droplet particle concern this uh, yeah we means mucus particles or sneezing particles or any uh, uh, salivary uh, particles it can be persist more than three days uh, moisture even uh, steel plates also two days also have uh, uh, showed some references Okay, sir. Uh, another one, sir. Uh, COVID-19 will affect the internal organs in humans positively. Yes, of course. This is a major concern, you know. Uh, it is a major cause uh, towards the respiratory tract. Uh, it is a, uh, first, it is going to cause the infection, and it can be leads to uh, affect this <clears throat> lungs enter system and so it is cause of a chronic situation for this all the patients and it can be reach the uh, uh, kidney and the heart and through this uh, blood uh, uh, system okay, sir. Uh, sir what's a environmental based mutation occurs in virus 
<laughs> yeah, the, this is a, even uh, so many report also suggested even India also noticed uh, recently uh, three new strains. Even uh, Kerala, one, uh, it is noticed one, one type of viruses. It is not a, a natural uh, defect, it is a, a mutations. A spontaneous mutation may be exist. Okay, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, does the COVID-19 will affect the central nervous system? Central? Uh, it's uh, possible, but uh, even uh, it is also affect the uh, uh, lungs and uh, it is followed by this uh, neuromuscular system. I didn't get the uh, literature so far. So uh, I can uh, I didn't find if it is uh, I will I can uh, reply to it. If the person is uh, asked to my mail. Sir, okay, sir. Uh, sir uh, in what way can plasma yeah. therapy help to infect a person? Yeah, the plasma therapy contains the direct anti antibodies. Uh, for example, even though those who are infected with this uh, virus, then uh, the virus it can be elicit uh, the body can be elicit antibody production after 12th uh, day to 15 day uh, with high uh, antibody production. So if you uh, take this antibody, uh, it, uh, we can be take a uh, purification uh, take uh, several steps for the purification. If it is contaminated with our uh, any cells associated with this uh, 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 antibody or the serum particle, serum substances, it can be cause another problem for this uh, uh, human being, even cause autoimmune disorders. Okay, eh? so uh, easy to reject because we are directly exposed this antigen. This uh, this and this uh, serum uh, contained to the uh, blood, so blood can be directly connected to the lymphoid organ. So it, is, it, can, it can be some adverse effect. So saving the life uh, by uh, using the pure uh, plasma with the antibodies, it is a uh, highly advised, yeah, like a, a older therapy. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, there is any relationship between. Uh, Seasonal changes and viral diseases. Regional? Seasonal. Seasonal. Seasonal changes. Seasonal, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, yeah, most of the virus is associated with this uh, season. Uh, for example, even this uh, Wuhan, uh, it is, uh, and there is a uh, uh, situation, is a uh, uh, lower temperature, so very uh, moisture. Moisture is an important, uh, crucial factor for these viral infections. Most of the flu fever, it can be exceeded through this uh, uh, winter and um, uh, rainy season only, isn't it? Then uh, even uh, global warming is also uh, responsible for this uh, parasitic infection, not for the viral infections. If it is raising the temperature, sometimes there is vector borne diseases. Uh, yeah, Mosquito-based diseases can be caused, uh, elicit the mosquito bond diseases, vector bond diseases. Okay, sir. Uh, another one question, sir. Are there any particular shape for uh, COVID-19 virus? That shape will change period. The shape not, does not change, but the vi uh, virus uh, uh, antigen, viral antigenic particles means uh, uh, I mean, uh, surface we have to see some crown like proteins, capsid proteins. They are named as a capsid proteins. The protein uh, configuration can be changed. This is a target for this uh, uh, drug designing as well as a uh, vaccine designing by this uh, bioinformatician and other uh, scientists. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. sir, is there any chance of COVID attack on the same person for the second time? Yeah, uh, uh, possible if their uh, immune system is uh, depressed. If they have, uh, so uh, no, so far uh, nobody have to recognize and identify this uh, uh, what is called uh, memory cells and the presence of the memory cells and plasma cell availability in uh, host cells. If they are uh, concrete or uh, evidence is available, we can suggest the no uh, so possibilities of the reinfections. If the memory cells are existing in a certain time period, till the period the same viruses does not enter into the uh, host cells. Okay, yes. sir. Thank you very yes. much, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your... Uh, uh,
ओके थैंक यू सर इसे टाइम ऑफ बोथ ऑफ थैंक्स इवन बाय डॉक्टर आर जी राजन सर थैंक यू राजन सर आडिबल सर आडिबल सर उटन for providing continuous cooperation to us and it is paramount due to thank all our active members for making this uh, webinar a grand success thank you rajesh sir uh, participants uh, the feedback link will be will be posted in a uh, chat box please fill it thank you thank you for all participants Thank you, Silon Kumar sir. Yes, sir. thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rajesh sir, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Silon sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Th